Yo, it's Joe, and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be checking out when Vax Matt Gilmore, Vox Machina Origin Moments. This is another one that was put up by Arsqueef, so I appreciate you, my boy. Good looks, good looks. Uh, the smile that keeps on giving, <laughs> like I always say. Um, so yeah, check his stuff out, support him. I'm sure you guys already know who he is, but check him out. I gotta say it, because uh, uh, this guy's been, uh, been coming in clutch for helping me see different things like this. So I wanted to check this out just because... Uh, I want to see Matt and Liam, like how they interacted during the actual campaign, since Matt isn't uh, playing the role of Gilmore in the show. So, kind of wanted to see this origin moment. It's not too long, so figured it'd be a nice, quick little thing for uh, me to check out for you guys. So, without further ado, let's get into this bad boy. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the vibes. Off you, however, the beaded curtain swishes open with the grandiose gesture of one uh, slightly meaty hand. And stepping out in his uh, his fine gold trimmed purple robes, uh, his you know longish thick black coarse hair pulled into a nice ponytail, um, smoothly shaved face with a slight little hint of a braided goatee that dangles about three inches from his chin. Gilmore's a, a very handsome gentleman. He's, See you guys he's, now. Uh, wow, was... that was a really good descriptive. I mean, he's always good with that, but just his descriptions like how he just described him is exactly how he was made in the in the show like i'm sure with some guidance from matt of course but he, that alone was enough for you to kind of make a rough sketch a rough drawing of what this guy would have looked like even even a color in a bit you know what i mean he just gave you that little bit of detail so that was pretty cool but yes yeah, just gilmore is indeed uh you know that guy you know what i'm saying so I'd say he's he's not like Fit and muscular. Right, he, is, right. he is. He is. a handsome, comfortably jovial gentleman. Mm. I'm sorry. Was I being summoned? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he immediately looks. Just, yes. Oh. Oh. You've returned. Gilmore. Gilmore. Glorious bastard. How have you been? He immediately rushes to the edge and kind of like leans over the counter to give you a grandiose hug and actually lifts you off your feet. Uh, Much stronger uh, than you anticipated. He goes, uh, oh, ho, ho, oh, 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 I think this will take a while. Let's. So, uh, so from my understanding, right, from what I was told in a couple of comments, he, Vax, Vax, yeah, I was about to get confused like a true critter. Um, <laughs> Vax uh, was not initially supposed to be bisexual, but just because of the roles and like his charisma and everything, that's just how it played out. Can you correct me if I'm wrong? Because if that's the case, that's even more hilarious. That's even more just, <laughs> you know, they just have to go with the flow on that. And that's, that's pretty funny how just like the circumstances <laughs> of the whole thing happened, <laughs> if that's the case. Uh, oh, let's. You have entered a realm of mystery, of magic, of love. Welcome to Gilmore's Glorious Goods! Yep. Enchanted curios and magical artifacts at discount in prices. I take gold, silver, platinum. <gasps> Why, if it isn't the mysterious Vaxel Dan. <laughs> I was hoping you would swing back through again. Oh, I didn't pick him up. <laughs> Glad to see you've lost none of your charm, Gilmore. <laughs> oh, listen to you. Don't stop. I can't take it. <laughs> I've missed your visits. <laughs> mm. Hi. <laughs> so, are you here on business or pleasure? Oh yeah, and I remember this part. That looks just like uh, I was told that it's 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 not, but it's funny because it does look just like. I guess it's like a little like a nod to Mighty Nine, but um, uh, Fjord and uh, Jester. <laughs> See, I know their names off the top of my head because I started watching it. A business. I'm, I'm paying afraid. attention. Perhaps some advice for a tiny fee. Hopefully what you're offering isn't too tiny. Yeah, this guy, man. I suppose size isn't everything. This guy. This? <laughs> I owe you dinner. 
You owe me more than that, my handsome half elf. Oof. All right, you two, four plays over. <laughs> you damn right, Pike. You damn right. <laughs> That's basically the video, though. Oh, he doesn't normally have like his little outro that he normally has at the uh, at the end here. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Check out his channel. All right, you guys know the vibes. But uh, yeah, that was cool. But yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, was he just um? Was he, were they supposed to not necessarily be like a, a, a thing or a romantically involved, but it just so happened that with each role that they did when they were rolling for, I guess, different things, uh, <laughs> just turned out that way. That's funny. That's funny if it is. It goes to show like how much you really can't, uh, you, you really don't know where your character is going to go. You can have like an, a, a very, very broad outline of what your character is. But how they interact with like the DM and the NPCs can can change, you know, key parts of your character, you know, if that's the case, let me know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like stuff like this, check out the Patreon links down below. Y'all know the vibes. Thank you for for uh, we got over 500 subs. You guys, you guys are awesome. You come on, man. Appreciate y'all. Uh, do all the good things, you know, share it, like it. Just do all the good things. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And I will see you guys in the next one. And thank you for watching. Have a good morning, afternoon, or night. Wait, gotta find it, gotta find it. Found it. Peace.